Welcome back, everyone. It is day 118, and one thing I really did not want to do, I'm unfortunately going to have to do because, yeah, the stress and everything that's been going on in my life has kind of caught up to me, and I've realized I cannot do daily videos any longer. And I apologize for that. I know I want to do a day-by-day day through day 300, but we got through 110 days or something like that, so I feel like that that was pretty good. Um, so, in my opinion, we did all right. Uh, we got to this point, so that's good. Obviously, I'll do some landmark days as well. I'll make a video. But basically, I'm going to be going to about once to twice a week. However, in return, you won't be seeing one-minute update videos anymore, as many of you seem to not really care for those and not wanting to see the recordings of them. I'm going to go ahead and just show my stats in the beginning uh, of the day that I make the video. And then after that, I will do something substantial for every video from here on out. And this one's going to be quite substantial today because we're going to be talking about Atlas Earth's new feature, passports and badges. And this one I even made a little presentation a couple days ago in order to do this in preparation for this. So let's get to that. I mean, to show you just how unprepared I was for this, I hadn't even touched the experimental account in like four days. I did a little bit one day, but then I had a bunch of other stuff to do, and I just got worn out. I'm going to try to pay a little bit more attention to this, but the reason why I opened this up without showing the stat screen today was to show you, if I can click on it, right there, we saw this in the last video, badge income history and the payout details. Well, if you hadn't seen Atlas Reality's last video, where they talked about how you can get badges, if you go to the shop here, you can click on one of these three, usually the city, state, or the country badge, and click on it, and you and you pay 200 Atlas bucks, and you get yourself a badge. Now, I don't have 200 Atlas bucks on this account, but I probably wouldn't want to buy something right now, maybe one badge, and we'll talk about why that is in this video where I talk about the math behind Atlas Earth passports and badges. Also, I'm going to go ahead and do a boost as well at the very end. Well, maybe after I make this video. So I'm going to click out of here. And we're going to go ahead and now talk about Atlas Earth Passports and Badges and how are we best going to optimize this. So first off, I am going to divide people into three tiers. And I had done this in the Discord. If you go to our Discord, I'll leave a link below. Come check us out. We have a lot of fun there, myself and AJ. Uh, so anyways, the tier, I divide people to, there's three tiers. First, we have the newbies, those that have 0 to 149 parcels of land. Um, the reason why is because once we hit 150, that is the maximum for 30x boost. So us regulars are from 150 to 2,250 parcels of land. And for us, we're not really making money. We're just making parcels for making parcels and hoping to get that a little bit extra in the super boost events or that little bit extra when we go offline as well now beyond that at 2251 and above i call the whales and why do i identify 2250 parcels of land as a whale because as i said at 150 parcels you're at 30x boost now the lowest possible boost is 2x now 2x is in fact do 30 divided by 2 that's 15 times less and will require a recovery if you want to get to 150 at 30x of 150, that's the 30x boost maximum, times 15 or 2,250 parcels. Now, I understand a lot of people consider whale level once you hit like 2x, maybe even 3x. And that may be true, but in my opinion, it's probably best uh, to consider a whale someone who is actually making more money than the regular Atlas Earth player. And they are definitely making more money when they hit 2,251 parcels of land. Now, as I had mentioned in the feature, one badge costs 200 Atlas bucks. And that is the same as two parcels of land. It boosts offline and online. And yes, you do get a 20 Atlas buck bonus for everyone who buys a badge of your city, state, or country, depending on if you are mayor governor or president exclusive uh, respectfully but that's usually only i'd say like a handful of people are really getting that bonus right now definitely those in the big towns um those in states and countries definitely getting it but i would say that's only like at best maybe a couple maybe like a hundred players either or it does boost offline and online 
And again, because it's 200 atlas bucks, you want to make sure that it gives you the value of two parcels of land. So you want to make sure when you buy it, it's going to gain you the equivalent of two parcels of land or more. And that is what the math behind this is going to be about. Now let's talk about costs to get to the next boost. Now you probably already know at 5% of a boost, I mean here, at 5% of a boost it only requires one badge. So 200 atlas bucks, quite easy. But however, to get to the next level boost for another 5%, you need 11 badges. That means you need to buy 10 more or 2,000 Atlas Bucks for a total of 2,200 to get to the 5% boost. Then it just gets higher from there. Uh, you need 31 badges or 20 more badges in order to get the 15%, 30 more to 61 for 20%, and finally 101 badges or 40 more to get to 25%. Again, that is like 20,000 Atlas Bucks. So let's talk about that strategy then. I'm going to first start talking about newbies because the vast majority of you have less than 150 parcels of land. Now, one badge is going to get you a 5% boost and it costs two parcels of land, right? So in order to get the equivalent of more than two parcels, you're going to need a multiplier of about 20 extra parcels in there. So if you own 40 or more parcels of land, that 5% boost will give you the equivalent of two parcels or more, depending on how much you have. Up to 150, for example, it will grant you the equivalent of seven and a half of your parcels of land. So therefore, once you've hit 41, it is in fact more advantageous to buy your first badge than it is to buy another parcel of land. So after your 41st parcel of land, I do recommend you buy one badge. To get another 5% boost, you need the equivalent of greater than 20 parcels of boost, which requires 400 parcels. However, the boosted earning mostly stops after 150. As we talk about, the boost tier drops 150 at 30x, 220 at 20x, 290 at 15x, which, by the way, on my main account, I'm closing in on that 15x, and so on. And that's going to lead us to talking about the regulars. So as I said, for the regulars and the whales in this case, after 150 parcels, the boosted earnings do grind to a halt. The only thing that you are gaining parcels for is either for the leaderboard or for those rare super boost events, which, by the way, has yet to happen as of this recording. And in my opinion, they only last a day or so, so it's not really that big of a deal. So to me, the only way to significantly gain your earnings is with badges. So once you've hit 150, my recommendation is to buy badges where you can until 101. Once you've hit 101, there's no point in doing it. Buying parcels of land will at least give you that minuscule increase. So I would just go up to 101. Again, if you can't get to 101, don't worry. Do not fret. Just keep buying parcels of land instead. That is perfectly fine. Um, if you are out of, as I said, out of badges to grab, continue to grind ads and pay money until you have enough Atlas Bucks to get to the maximum of your next tier. Don't make 101 badges your priority, especially if you don't live in an area where the city or state changes on a whim. That would, in my opinion, just be crazy. But if you are a traveler and you travel a lot and you have 100 badges, uh, if you can make 100 badges easily or 101 badges easily, absolutely do it. Get to that 25% boost. And finally, exclusively for whales, really, the only difference, as I mentioned in earnings, is that 2,250 parcels. You start to earn for each parcel of land again, albeit not as much as you would as a newbie starting out up to 150. It would be like 1 15th the effect because the boost tier drop does stop at 2x. So you are getting about 7% the effect of an increase or 7.5%. I don't know where the 1 15th is. So you just keep buying badges until you hit 101 badges, just like with the regulars. And yeah, pretty much, you know, at level four. I, I gave an example there. 40 badges is 8,000 Atlas Bucks to get to level 5 or 80 parcels of land. Well, that's pretty good, right? And then 5% of 2250 is 112 and a half parcels of land, which is even better. 112 and a half is greater than 80. So it is worth your while to buy those 40 badges and get that basically 32 and a half parcel of land, quote unquote, bonus. So I know it might seem a little controversial, but my optimal strategy is build to 41 parcels. So get 41 parcels of land first, then buy one badge, get that 5% bonus. 
then build to 150 parcels, then buy as many badges as you can. Uh, basically, you know, where you're traveling, but try to stop at the very minimum of the next level. So, for example, get to 11, then get to 31. You know, don't just stop like in the middle or something like that if you really want to be optimal about it. And then build to as many parcels as it takes to get to the max of the next tier and then continue accordingly. So really, the strategy has only changed if you're a brand new player to the game and you have less than 150 parcels. For everyone else, the change is pretty much the same. Just buy badges, buy parcels to your whim. And that's pretty much it regarding this game. So I'm going to call it here for the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, I'm going to be talking about, well, we might get some more parcels of land. I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to Atlas Earth. And also, I'm going to talk about my Coin Pro as well sometime down the road, if I'm going to continue using that plan or not. So with that, everyone, I want you to enjoy your weekend. I will see you all next time.